Buenos días, mis amigos, y bienvenido a Taquiendo de Fim, mis dios, o Pipe Leoles. Mi hijo es justo, justo, un rico. This is, of course, the Mexican version of talking to famous people. I, uh, it was a good gig. I, I was surprised I got the job, but anyway, uh, Hoterik's busy right now, so he wants to have me make a video for a little while. Uh, if you're like me, you love burros, sombreros, los burritos, los tacos, y los human trafficking, y kidnapping. We got proud people, the Mexicans. What is it he wants me to make a video about again? Something about something? Cuesta one, Rico. I'm back now. You can leave, okay? You're not doing a very good job. I wanted to read the Primal Fuckheads highlighted comment. If I gather correctly, Peter Singer is wrongly prescribing to himself a descriptively resonant thing. Virtue, ethics, predictive, and prescriptive things don't seem to vibe with them purely because the results are forecast rather than felt for. Whoa. <laughs> Virtue ethics, I depends what you mean by virtue ethics. It's much clearer to simply say Peter Sanger is affording a positive moral prescription status of universality. And it doesn't work. I don't even feel normally and descriptively sound. A lot of times I'm only 18 years old. Well, no, you wouldn't be anything close to normally and descriptively sound. Normatively or yeah, descriptively. About how it's bad to have multiple counter arguments, getting one axiom instead of multiple narratives that seem to cover over everything is a headache to me. Maybe I deal with information too continuously. Well, I'm just what I meant there was it's bad to to prioritize quantity over quality. Uh, you're not always gonna find uh argument that is the top level frame and that you know subsumes all the other arguments but well I mean <laughs> it's a matter of anytime you're making a, an answer to something there's an implied framework you're providing as well the more different answers you provide, the more likely you're, you know, some of your answers are going to conflict with each other or the framework. So there's that. It's not that, it's, it's not a headache. It's, there's a certain skill set that one has to develop, you know, over, over time. I, or I don't even know if it's a skill, it's just, Whatever it is that I do is just, it's not even thought out or decided or anything, it just happens. I find you very easily angerable. Well, I'm not that easily angerable. There are a few finite things that make me genuinely angry, though. Wouldn't it objectively be better if he, to be, wouldn't? Objectively better if he'd be to affect someone into mm -hmm. meditating out. Well, let's assume I care about their outcomes. Your body language does matter in terms of what you're getting across, namely your metaphysical body language. Every word you say makes you think certain attracted words over time. So we can word something wrong or entirely different from how we meant. The only reason you're convincing to people in any Conference of SI metaphysical body politic ways, your massive treachery. I think he means there to navigate girth of content. So, being your presentation is meta rational, rhetorically speaking, vulnerable to passive rather than active wishes for thinking, blah, blah, blah. I'm currently commenting something cogent, I guess. I thought it was an interesting comment. Um, I don't know if I am convincing to people, but I don't know if that's my goal, you know? Uh,. It's not treachery to be right all the time. 
you know, it's, I'm not avoiding the content. I, what happens is people go, this looks like a duck, it's a duck. And I go, well, it's not a duck, so there's your problem. And they go, but just deal with it as over a duck. Except it's not a duck, so I'm not going to do that, sorry. That's what happens all the time. I'm not treacherously navigating around the content. They're mistaking the content for something real when it's bullshit. My presentation is meta rational and rhetorically speaking, vulnerable to pa it's not vul you can't be vulnerable to passive non responses. They can they can walk away thinking whatever the fuck they want. But they're not gonna win if they're wrong. And I don't care if they think they won or not. I I mean that's why videos provide you know, data for analysis for third parties. I'm not really, I genuinely am not very interested in convincing people of things, except, except to play fair. I'm, I'm concerned about that. People should play fair, which means answer my questions. Otherwise, you know, if you're making an advocacy and you won't answer my questions, that's entirely on you, whoever you are, it doesn't matter. It's not my fault that, you know, you came to play basketball, but you didn't like the fact that you had to dribble, so you just sort of said, oh, I don't have to dribble. But you still think I have to. So, you know, obviously I'm calling bullshit on this double standard. <sighs> Purple Fuck had another interesting comment um, the other day that I thought was wrong. It was, it was the perfect feedback, except it was wrong. So, he was talking about uh, um, Take My Hams, a song, and he said he liked it at first, but it didn't bear up to repeat listening as well. And at the time, I hadn't yet come to really any much conclusion about that song. I, it takes me a while to decide. I, I discover sort of later on by virtue of whether I listen to it or not. If I listen to it a lot, then I like it. And if I don't really listen to it, then I don't really like it that much. I like Take My Hands a lot. I think it's... It absolutely bears bears up to repeated listenings. And it's only a minute and 39 seconds or something. So it has that advantage. It's really difficult to get... to lose your audience's attention when you've got a minute and 39 seconds of quite stylishly rendered weirdness um, and catchy weirdness so I'm really pleased with that song it's like your feedback should have been right but it wasn't in this instance it would have been perfect for uh, the Adam and Eve and the Garden of Eden song that I made <laughs> the real origins of humanity that was, your feedback was entirely ac accurate on that one. That one was too long and indulgent and stuff. Um, well, let's give it a listen. Let's see what we think. It's a good excuse to play that song. Let's see what uh, Primal Fuckhead thinks. He's only 18. It's crazy. So young. I always forget that that was like you know I deal with people I don't ever think like two four six eight, eight ten a dozen you say I'm responsible I wasn't you say that I do I doesn't you say that I must I must okay okay let's play it over here though it'll be fun am I talking to myself oh I suppose so I'm talking to the bar talking to the the friends in the world who watch these videos. Let's see what this is all about. It's gonna be fun. You're gonna like it. See if you agree with Primal Fuck it or you agree with me. Or neither. You could just say, eh, I have so shitty I have no opinion about it at all.
two, four, six, eight, ten, a dozen. You say I'm responsible, I wasn't. You say that I do, I doesn't. You say that I must, I mustn't. She knows well how to kill men, blindside them with running up hills and then crank knobs to ten, assault them again with a deafening din. Salt their eyes, make them blind, break the chin. And when you say you're right, but you're totally fussing. If they serve you con, you demand russet. I check my phone, your cousin. How could you do, do, be your cousin? Break my hands, kick my butt, salt my ass, get my sperm, get my hands on a phone, we get the truth, crack my cups and shake up cans, I can leave, keep my glands, will you sleep in my plans? I'm ramming my orderly bins asunder, find dank and dim, every one of my blunders, make me attend to your stolen thunder, forget the tattoo, just remove the skin under. Jack and Ryan, do no more sugar, find the great thing, do not hate, I'm just staying on the crazy, the way you make a day, it's a battle that you know, when you quit, cause they have been no bigger risk, I can't see them, bigger risk, we left you go for it. You're the leader of the crew, Clyde and Captain Stokes, a sheep, Captain Tank, and a fish sinking all of the boats. So Mr. Hall sees a risk, Mr. Oates does too. You're a man, need a girl, what the hell am I to do? Pull my butt and break my hands, kick my butt and sell my lands, kill my sperm, take my hands, don't affirm to get the truth, crack my cups, shake up hands, act aloof, tease my glance, let you sleep in my plans. Bring my orderly bins asunder, find dank and dim, every one of my blunders, make me attend to your golden thunder, forget the tattoo, just remove the skin under. Pull my butt and break my hands, kick my butt, sell my lands, kill my sperm, take my hands, don't affirm. I'm gonna get the truth, crack my cups and shake up the hands, act a little tease my glance while you sleep. Fucking Eric, I had his mic muted. I wanted to respond to something else Primal Fuck had said about that song. He's all, you know, it's brilliant any, but basically it doesn't stand up against any scrutiny or something, or some other kind of scrutiny. But here's the deal. That song was anything but any compared to most of my work. It I fucking worked those lyrics so long. I tried making a song out of that, various bits of stuff underneath it, like six different, seven different ways or something. I mean, it was a... I didn't think anything was ever going to get done with that, really. I was surprised when it actually came together. Because, uh, boy, you know, writing raps is... It's, it requires this different kind of NI. You know, it's like a different different modality. And everything's got to be just so. It's tough. The tone has to be exactly right. The pattern and the cadences have to be exactly right. Um, the words have to be exactly right. It's... I mean, it should be that way for all music, but it's it's a strange thing because... The key to rap, really, is don't make any mistakes. You can't make any mistakes. You can't say one, like, wrong thing or have one line end on the wrong kind of accent beat or something like that. Every bit of the rap has to be rendered perfectly or else it'll never get, you have a hope of getting beyond mediocrity. It takes lots of takes Um, you guys want to hear a really cool beat that that drum guy made? It's this one. I really like it. It's a great fucking beat. Mm-hmm. That's right, it's 1985 tonight, and we're rapping on the street corner, cold lamping, waiting for our homies. If 
you want to buy the rhyme, then bite this rhyme. It's not a rhyme, so you could bite it. If you bite it, then you should go lampin'. <laughs> hippity, hippity hop in the his house. Hippity, hippity hop in the his house, y'all. Tonight, I'm a hippin' and hoppin' and hoppin' and hippin' and dancing and trippin'. And what am I trippin' on? I'm trippin' on things on the floor. You shouldn't put your shoes in front of the door. You shouldn't put the bucket on top of your head. It's filled up with sand, and that'll make you dead. If you can't breathe in the sand, you won't breathe. If you don't breathe, then you can't be free. Because only breathing things can free themselves from the breathing cages that they rear. <laughs> uh-huh. My name is Eric, and I am the host. This here song is like a toast to the year 1984. When rapping was invented a long time ago, I was standing there telling them how to go slow and how to go fast and how to go medium speed. It depends on what the beat is though, see, but regardless, I was there hanging out and I was telling them all about how to rap and shout and how to sing and dance and how to clap your hands and they're like, raise the roof? I said, yes, I can. Like this. I want to raise the roof. It's on top of the his house. We put a Z in there to make it cool, see? Otherwise, it'll just be a regular C and nobody prefers a C over a Z. I mean, there's no house in C, and there's no C in house neither, gee. Why would there be one that's out with Bree? That's not fair to you and me to take our houses away and be free. It's not free. It's not fair neither. It's more like getting ether and huffing it to make yourself high. Huffing ether. I'm a hot ether ether huffing guy. <laughs> this is my hanky, my handkerchief. I like to blow my nose inside of it. And then it gets kind of crinkled and gross like this. And I say, ew, I don't really want to blow my nose on you anymore. Because you're full of the snot and in store for me would be snotty face. Gee, that wouldn't be fun. This is my lighter, my cool orange lighter. I like it a lot because it's a lighter that's a fighter. It'll pop my battle for me if I'm in trouble. It'll step up. It'll say, I'm here to pop your bubble, enemy guy who's giving trouble to Eric. You shouldn't do that. That'll just scare it. Scare him, I mean. He's not an it. He's not neuter. He's a masculine guy. He's him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is my knife. And this is my lighter. This is my cigarette, too. This is the pack from which it came. And from whence I will ensue. This is my cup of says crazy cat guy. Because I like cats and I'm a crazy guy. This is my bomb. It gets me high. You put the weed right inside. You put the lighter here. Up like so. You torch it with the lighter. Then you go. And then you get nice and high. And you'll say, ooh, I feel better. Guy, that was cool of you to give me that weed. It's sad your parents named you Guy indeed. Guy is a really gay name. I'm glad I'm not named Guy, just the same. Anyway, thanks for the weed. I appreciate the bong hits for me. I like to pull them deep in them. My lungs get the THC running around inside my gums. Yep, travels from my lungs to my gums to my brain to my heart to my mane. I got a mane, a lion's mane. Growing from my forehead with shame. I got a lion's mane inside my brain. I got a lion's mane on my tongue. My tongue is covered in lion fur again. Why well, did that happen? When did I get a lion inside of my mouth? Did one rape me like that when I was sleeping south down by the river? Where lions like to go and test the liver by having drinking contests with other lions and lionesses instead? There's lions and lionesses and then there's lion cubs, which are kind of messes, but, you know, if they get in trouble, the new dominant male will kill them all. In the rubble. Smash them back. Smash them down. Make them bad. Make them round. Make them square. <laughs> Stupid fucking lion is super square. 
I was looking for a lion-shaped one over there, but there weren't any ones that were shaped like regular lions. Instead, they're all squares and tire irons. (laughs) Mommy, why is that lion shaped like a tire iron? I don't know, honey. Mommy, why is that lion a big fat square? That's not a square, it's a cube with hair. (laughs) Good point, Mom. (laughs) You're right about that for sure. myself up. Why do I think I'm so funny? I don't know. I might be a big dummy. This is one joke I was telling them myself the other day about called a band. It's called a band called Casacorn No. They've got a very interesting origin story though, so I think I'll tell you all about it right now. A rapping style. A rapping style. Okay, so there were these guys. They really liked the band called Corn with the backward K, right? So they formed a corn cover band and called themselves Corn. But they didn't want to be called Corn with the backwards K, because that would not make it clear that they were the cover band and Corn the original. So instead, they spelled it with a C, like a digital C. A little digital C in front. C O R N Corn. It was enough for them, they thought. Bunk cakes were served, and they had a lot of fun. Anyhow, after a little while, someone said to them, you know, there's already a band named Corn, and they said, I know, but we're the cover band of Corn, so we're Little C Corn. They said, eh, that's not really good, because you are confusing everybody in the hood. Are you a Corn cover band, or are you Corn? I almost bought tickets to your stadium show the other day, Dan. That would have been a waste of money, because... You're not even corn, and I'm a huge, huge, huge corn fan. Of course I am. Who's not a huge corn fan? Idiots. Anyway, I'll continue my story of cats of corn. Cats of corn, no. Okay. So, anyway, they decided that they needed to add a K to the name. To make it clear, they were neither corn nor just any old band that happened to steal the name of corn and said they were a corn cover band. So they named the band Backwards Capital K Little C Corn. And everybody called them the corn. And everybody said, well, it's a little bit better than before. But it's still a difficult name to deal with. And additionally, someone pointed out, you guys should feel kind of shamed into doubt about whether you are prioritizing right. Why is their letter in front of yours when it's your night? You're the ones who are making the corn cover band. Why should they have the capital K in front of your land? Instead, just put a C there, like you had originally. Well, we can't take the K away because we added it just yesterday and told everybody, so we got to leave it there and say that's part of the name now, too. The backwards K, the little C, the O, and the U. Well, not a U, but an R and an N, which you kind of look like U's. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, that's right. So, no, we're not called Kakorn. We're just called Corn still. Everybody calls us Kakorn, though, because they think that there's an extra syllable, which means they should. Well, after much discussion, all the band members decided he was right. It was kind of a percussion to their attitude and ego, right? They really needed to be featuring themselves, not these other guys. So they took Steve's advice and they changed their name once more to make it more bright. They added another C in the front. A big C that, no, I'm sorry. They added another C in the front, another little C. It went C, little C, capital backwards K, C, Orn. That was their name. And everybody started calling them cook a cook a corn. Cook a corn. Well, they didn't like being called cook a corn. And somebody else came around and pointed out a storm. A storm of desire. A storm of regret. A storm of on fire. A storm of the bet. Anyway, they were concerned because why would they have a capital only for the other guys? Since it was their band and they should have the capital C. At that point, band members agreed. So they added another C in front of the name, this time a capital one, which was good. It was a good idea, you see. 
But then another band member said, I think we need a vowel between the C and the back of the A. So they added an A. It made it sound more Irish, they say. Anyhow, that's how they came to be called ka k k k corn But they didn't like the way that sounded. So they made the second C in the name sound like an S instead of a K. And that's how they became known as Casa Corn. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Pretty soon, some of the band members <laughs> decided they no longer liked corn. <laughs> and they didn't want to be a corn cover band anymore. So they added a no at the end of their name. And that's how the band Casa Corn No got its name. Someone hasn't been sleeping at all. I've been sleeping. I've been sleeping. No, you sleeping haven't. For this. I've been sleeping with my eyes oh open. My and my brain going. And my mouth talking words. Talking oh. words with my mouth. What's that look supposed to convey? Love and affection and respect? Oh, hooray. Cool. Kimberly's coming out here to affirm me for my good actions and my excellent rapping. She says, how can you not have lots of crap then? You're such a good rapper, why can't you just win now? Go ahead and make a million bucks with your rap songs. Then make a million bucks with my vagina, because I'm Kimberly. I can't get enough of your cock, you see. That's just the way that I be, since you're such a rapping son, you see. Yeah, my name is Kim, and I totally agree. I answer all of Eric's questions, and I agree. I never give him pushback or controversy. I'm Kimberly, and I love to agree. I love to be cooperative with him. I love to cooperate with him again. He deserves all my cooperation, so I'm Kimberly, and I win. Wow, thanks, Kimberly. That's nice. That is really refreshing, in fact, right? It feels kind of good tonight. It feels like... Hmm, you're right. You are right if you agree with me. And it is right to agree with me, see? Because I'm right, so why not agree? Otherwise, you'll be wrong. Go wee, wee, wee all the way home. Like one of those toes that's on your foot that has roast beef. And have to go wee, wee all the way home. Not pee, but make a sound instead, see? And that's why he's a little pig. He doesn't say words like a human fig. He just says oinks and wheeze and wheeze and oinks and oinks and wheeze and please and things and oinks. That's what he says. Cause he's a pig. No, I'm not gonna turn the camera to show you dancing. Kimberly is totally getting down right now and dancing. She's break dancing all over the floor over there, spinning on her head, messing up her hair. She just can't stand to not get up and dance because this rap song is a fucking rap. Huh, I can't really. She doesn't even have time to talk to me. I'm just dancing. Shut the fuck up. Keep rapping, motherfucker, because this stuff is suck. It's not suck. I mean, it's great. That's why I like it so much and stayed up late to listen to you practice your raps. I said, wow, that's fast. You're good. You come up with shit off the fly like nobody could. I'm gonna die someday, but you won't, Eric. Because you're a rapper, you'll be immortal like a parrot. Little did you know, parrots are immortal. And so are sea turtles and trees, too. They all live forever, just like the Jews. That's why I'm converting to Judaism. Hey, I hear you cause people to live forever. Come back in on that, please. Shalom.